The broadcast is now starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. Hi, everyone. Thanks for joining. My name is Nick Bayan. I am with Jabra. I'm one of the account managers here. Um, I work with 888 VoIP very closely. So anything you guys have questions on Jabra or uh, need any assistance or have any opportunities, please reach out to your reps at 888 and you also will have access to me. And I did send my contact info over to um, the people over at 888. So, um, and it'll be on the end of this slide. So you guys will have all my contact info. So if you have anything pop up, just let me know. Just wanna do a, a, a quick presentation on you. And it started on the wrong slide, of course. And uh, kind of work from really how are we working nowadays? How are headsets playing a role in the new norm as everybody's calling it, where we're working remotely, working from home. Um, so we'll go through that and we'll go through our Jabra Panicast camera and the benefits of that. I will preface it, um, <clears throat> excuse me, a couple of these slides are a little, a little outdated, but I'll, I'll talk about that when we get to them and uh, bring up that even though they're a little outdated, it still has very relevant information that, that hopefully you guys find useful. So let's kick it off. So let's kick it off with a quote. The development of the world is dependent on communications. This was said by our founder of GN Group, C.F. Tietken in 1869. With changes being forced on people and companies all over the world, this statement is, is arguably more relevant today than really any other point in time. GN has been fortunate to build on 150 years of innovation and insights to be a global leader in audio communications. Today, we are the only company innovating for and delivering medical, professional, and consumer grade audio solutions under one roof. Together, the companies of GN Group deliver intelligent audio solutions that let you hear more, do more, and be more than you ever thought possible. So just a little history on, on GN Group, that's uh, the, the parent company of Jabra. We have a strong history and legacy that we bring along. Leading the way and pioneering bold innovations has always been embedded in GN's DNA. Uh, supreme understanding of high quality sound in all its forms has helped GN pioneer new communication experiences from wired to wireless, from the continental telegraph connections that our founder, Danish industrialist C.F. Tietken spearheaded in the uh, 19th century to the technologically advanced and user-friendly headsets and hearing aids of the 21st century. Our long history and innovation and insight is people's needs is a powerful backdrop also for today's customers and building trust and credibility. Now with that fun stuff out of the way, now to bring our vision to life, we engineer our portfolio to deliver best in class experience across the breadth of professional and uh, personal user needs. This enables us to deliver industry leading audio and video solutions in the form of hardware, software, and services for the physical or corporate office with front and back office functions at the heart of the organization. That'll be probably more relevant once things start getting back to normal here. The contact center, um, so critical in supporting your customer and employees. Employees that are on the go, whether traveling through the market or flexibility, working from various locations. Again, once everything starts getting back to normal, um, hopefully with these uh, vaccines, it'll, it'll start getting that way. And then the home office, which now really more than ever has become a critical workspace for workers in, in every function. There are increasing need for high quality communication supporting fleet and field services, warehouse and manufacturing functions to enable worker productivity and personal needs. So let's reflect for just a quick minute on how it was and the state of the enterprise prior to 2020 or really at the, the start of 2020. Um, you'll see that we were trending to a very similar place we find ourselves today. It was just happening at a, a far slower pace. So consider that globalization is driving urban growth, which is expected to have as many as 2.5 billion people by 2050. This urbanization fuels congestion, traffic in and outside of our cities consumed important time loss commuting. With more, no, more new knowledge workers joining the workforce each year, we have less and less space per person in the office. New trends in office configurations and employee work styles like the open office created new work environments and behaviors and created a flurry of activity that amplified interruptions impacting worker productivity. Basic research uh, estimated that worker interruptions cost the US economy up to $588 billion a year. 
Um, new technology supported these changes and companies found themselves dipping their toes into waters of unified communications and cloud communication platforms, workforce applications and the like. And uh, we saw an increase of 87% of people working in distributed teams, probably more now. Observations suggest that a core limitation to a more rapid move to uh, broader work from home initiatives seem to be cultural. Could an employee be productive working from home and could they be managed remotely? So we learned a lot from that previous decade. Uh, the development of the world is dependent on communication and more than ever collaboration, the nature of work was becoming remote. We need to be connected to stay productive. Our personal and professional lives continue to merge and the need for information, the ability to consume, communicate, collaborate, share and interact on information continually gains importance. With that, we realize the need for technology to facilitate cultural and behavioral changes that will ensure we are successful in these new ways of working. So where and how? The tipping point. Then, of course, as luck has it, we have a global pandemic. Everything changed in a matter of weeks. We moved to working from home at a pace never seen before. Really practically overnight, we had to develop new organizational processes and, and human capital policies, a massive shift that started voluntarily, then grew rapidly through health recommendations and eventually government guidelines changed the nature of work instantly. And those cultural limitations we discussed around how and where people worked and how they were best managed practically disappeared in a blink of an eye. Employee collaboration remains critical to business con continuity Without the ability to meet face-to-face, -face, we had to change the way people are collaborating. For most of the work-life balance is being tested in new ways. For some, is this a re-entry back into the home? And remote work is bringing about new opportunities. Shortly after proclaiming they wouldn't be going back to the previous work setting, Twitter announced that employees could work from home forever. Companies like Google and Facebook have extended their work from home policies throughout early 2021. Capital One informed 40,000 workers they will be home through Labor Day and possibly longer. Amazon is saying October or fall till people go back in the office. And Nationwide Insurance is said to be closing offices, having 4,000 employees telecommute permanently. Do the employees like it? Uh, that's still to be determined. However, in recent Gallup poll, most Americans indicated they want to work from home for as long as possible. Uh, but really more questions arise. Why are some of the key companies eager to move home quickly while others like Apple are work, working to get people back into the office. And what is the right balance for a return? Will those water cooler and hallways light bulb moments continue and will spontaneous collaboration be lost? That tipping point made us realize that we can change our work settings and our work behaviors. We can work differently. A PwC survey estimated that 49% of organizations are considering permanent work from home for the roles that allowed it. This also impacted how we interact. In April, there was a 95% drop in airline passenger travel, which I know that was me, I miss it so much. Uh, will this return after COVID-19? Hopefully, but there will be new corporate travel considerations to mitigate risk and reduce cost. While travel came to a standstill, teleconferencing and video technology boomed. Google Meet added 3 million users a day. Zoom rocketed from 10 million users in December to over, it's actually about 350 million users now. Microsoft Teams jumped from 70% with up to 200 million daily users and over 2.7 billion meeting minutes in a single day. And I would imagine as I speak, these numbers are, are probably much higher. As we are working more from home and traveling less with no visible long-term declines in productivity, companies are noticing that cost savings could be realized Brian Crope of Gartner VP says companies could see real real estate savings of 20% or more if employees continue to stay at home, even if, and I say if, there is a modest productivity drop, the potential return is, is quite considerable. So suggestions that working from home could have a positive impact to employee well-being and performance are building. What happens when something like coronavirus no longer requires work from home? There are strong indications that working flexibly will have a significant presence in corporate life, reshaping years of embedded corporate culture. In fact, 73% of businesses are expecting to reconfigure their office, while 27% will reduce real estate footprints. And that's really where you guys will see in later slides that the Panda Cast will really fit in. 
And in all, 58% will consider flexible workforces. For instance, office employees could see 12 to 18 months of blended workforce management with employees and teams partially on site, partially working from home, rotating in flexible patterns. Uh, that's what we do here at Jabra. And this gate gives management time to reconfigure open office plans into something a little bit safer. And within the reconfigured space, you could see hand sanitizers built in the desks, translucent plastic, plastic workspace partitions, ultraviolet lighting to zap germs, and, and more outdoor gathering spaces. Welcome to workforce flexibility and the flexibility work space. More and more, we are hearing customers adapt the mantra, work is not where you are, it's what you do. With this understanding of our workforce evolution, what role will technology play? So here's where we get into the nitty gritty of it. Headsets are the only body-worn technology employees use, becoming central gateways to controlling smart contactless buildings in the future. As the internet of things and connected workplaces improve, employees can invoke their voice assistants to start meetings, control lifts, we're a European company at control elevators, uh, search for available rooms or even make coffee without the touch of a button. Combined with gesture control functionality from meeting rooms, cameras, connected workspaces will require far less contact and health safety concerns prevail. Headsets can also act as a proximity sensor to help maintain social distancing guidelines in the office. While 180 degree meeting room cameras give teams safe distance collaboration while remaining inclusive. You can't put the genie back in the bottle, unfortunately. Remote is here to stay, tech will fuel it. Let's look, look back at Jack Nillis, the former NASA engineer who first conceived of tele, telecommuting in 1973. This was a response to traffic and soon after the term gridlock had appeared in urban planning. The extreme strain on IT during COVID-19 has exposed every IT organization's unique breaking points. 49% of the world's stored data will reside in cloud by 2025. 4,909 daily data interactions per connected person in 2025, up from 1,426 this year and 268 in 2010. Audio and video solutions that enable you to work no matter where you are. Work isn't where you go, it's something you do. However, you need to work. There is a Java product that can help you get the most out of your day, whether you're working from home, from your smartphone, or need to get meetings up and running, we've got you covered. Work from anywhere because anywhere can work. Couple stats here. Staying connected has never been easier with intelligent industry leading audio and video solutions to boost collaboration no matter where you or your team is. Take that meeting where you are. When you have the right equipment, anywhere is a meeting room. Panicast lets you keep up with your meeting while working from wherever. Huddle up without huddling in while huddling together is off the table. Uh, you can still make use of your small meeting room safely with Panicast, and I'll show you uh, how here in a, in a second. The more you know, there's never been a better time to learn something new, and Panicast is a perfect tool for the distance learning, which is, uh, we're seeing another big tick in that with uh, schools figuring out what they're gonna do for the, the first half of 2021. The doctor will see you now from routine checkups to phone consultations. Panicast makes it easy to connect with your patients and staff remotely and safely. And a little personal thing on that, I, I just had to go to the doctors because I broke my wrist and it was a uh, first video call and then I had to go to the uh, orthopedic, but it was mostly done on the phone. So it's definitely something that is happening quite a lot now. So here's just a quick, it's a, about a, a minute and a half video just on the Panicast. It'll go over some features and then I have a couple slides that just we can break down those features um, and really get into the, the meat and potatoes as they say on the, on the camera.
So as you can see with that video, it's got 180 degree field of view with the panoramic 4K video, intelligent video technology, intelligent zoom. That way, if somebody comes into the room, it'll automatically zoom out, or if somebody leaves the room, it'll zoom back in to fit all the participants. It's got vivid HDR, which is if there's a bright window behind you, it'll know to kind of wash out that light and, and show a better image. Whiteboard capture and people count and detection, those are on the way. Uh, whiteboard is available now. That's if there's a whiteboard on the wall. One of those three cameras in front would focus in on that whiteboard and split your screen and show the whiteboard as its own, as its own screen. And then the rest would be the participants. And then people count is something that we are, we are working on. There's actually a company in Australia that uh, took our SDKs and fiddled with the programming and were able to have it to where if somebody had scheduled a meeting room and there were only 10 chairs in there and it was for 20 participants, it would know, it would alert the organizer, hey, there's only 10 chairs, you need more. It can also detect if the person that started the meeting uh, walks into the room, it can automatically either A, start the meeting or just send a greeting on the, on the screen Hey, thanks for joining. Um, Bob started the meeting. It's got instant collaboration. It is plug and play. It, it, guys, I'll, I'll never say it's 100% with, with every platform out there. There's weird ones that pop up all the time, but with 99% of them, it's, it's really just plug and play. And versatile compatibility, Microsoft Teams certified and compatible with all leading VC providers. So here's one I, I really wanted to focus on. And this big, this is big when we when we start going back to the office. You're still not going to want people right next to each other. You're going to need to social distance. Um, and the good thing about this is, and it showed it in the video where it showed the five people. Well, at the Panacast, you can take out two of those people so you get your three foot of distance that you need. And you can still social distance while still being able to use a huddle room. Um, and that's a great thing that really only Panacast can do, because if you look at the picture on the right, you're really stuck with if if you're trying to social distance where you're not going to be able to get really more than one maybe two participants in the screen with Jabra even though it's going to be fewer than what's shown here as I said this is a little bit outdated um, you'll still be able to get way more participants in that in that huddle room and still say stay safe by social distancing these cameras are also being um, how best to say it, they're, they're really being adopted by schools right now for, um, know, my wife's a teacher, a lot of teachers are actually still going into the classroom, uh, obviously without students, but they're still going in the classroom and they get set up with these cameras, um, that way they can still teach their students remotely. Also, there's a lot, they're going back to hybrid where some of the students are gonna be in the room, some of them are gonna be at home. So they set up these cameras with one of our Jabra Speak series of uh, speaker phones and they can still teach their students in the class, but at the same time be presented with a real life looking image since it doesn't distort it um, to their students at home. So again, this just really highlights it. The reason I put in a couple slides on this is this is a really big deal for Panacast. Um, just with the amount of space that it saves, you can fit all those people in the huddle room still with social distancing because of the 180 degree horizontal view um stay safe and that way you can still people when they start going back to the office which is probably going to be you know spring maybe summer people are still going to be hesitant about being close to each other so this camera really gives you the flexibility to still have those rooms and those meetings and still be able to stay safe So this is more I want to get into. Um, I'm assuming you guys are mostly partners with Jabra already with 888. If not, um, that is completely fine. We do have something called the Jabra One Partner Program. So this is a program that we put in place for all of our authorized partners um, that'll really help. It's an initiative that is absolutely key to how we do business. Our partner program adds value to our partner community and ultimately our end customers and users whatever the response relationship is to us, um, having authorized partners means not only peace of mind for our end customers, your guys' partners or customers, ensuring that re they receive the right level of expertise dependent on their individual requirement, but rewards commitment to partners who invest in Jabra. So partnership is not just about who we transact with though, 
We have an ecosystem of developers and alliance partners who help us deliver the very best solutions to the marketplace. That is how we stay plug and play with all of our, most of our headsets and our camera, uh, because we have those relationships with our strategic alliance partners where we get tested on their platform. Sometimes that takes up to a year, sometimes a year and a half, but we make sure that their software works with our headsets and vice versa. We will be implementing an improved partner program. Um, I just heard about Q2 2021 um, that'll really help with the ease of doing business. And we'll have more on that coming up. So resources available to you. Free devices of support. So if you guys have any opportunities, um, please come to your 888 VoIP rep um, or me personally. We can set you up with sample devices if you guys have an opportunity that you need a Panacast camera for that you think might be a good, um, good fit. If you're looking at schools or if you're looking at just an office that's looking to get back into going back to the office. Um, I am very lenient with sending out samples. So let me know um, and we can see what we can do for you. And these are nice because we don't expect them back. Um, nobody wants to reuse a headset that was already on somebody's head especially now. So once we send these to you, um, really you can do whatever you wish with them. So we have local, regional, global end user sales support. So your, your customers won't need to go back to you um, for help or support. If you want them to, absolutely, that's a great uh, value add. If you don't wanna have to deal with learning everything about headsets um, with the tech side of it, they can utilize our support team uh, we are hiring nonstop to make sure that we always have enough support teams so people don't have long wait times. We have exclusive deal registration, which I have a slide on that we'll go over. And end user programs and promotions. Um, so these are programs or promotions that you can offer to your customers and then they can save money or get free, free product. There are also promotions that wasn't on the slide for you as the reseller that you guys can utilize and capitalize on. Um, and they're getting updated quarterly. So once you guys sign up, or if you are signed up, uh, we have a website called Jobber One Zone that you can go on and check promotions and it's updated, like I said, quarterly and all the promotions up there are um, up to date. So our front end discount, so this is our uh, deal registration. So the rules on it here in the US is 10,000 MSRP over 12 months. So the deal is, it's got to be over 10,000. Um, that is list price. So that's not what you'll buy it for. That is list price. And it only has to be spread out over the 12 months. So the good thing about that is it locks you in as it, for the year as that reseller of choice. So nobody else can come in and try to get that deal away from you because you're locked in. Nobody else can come in and get a better pricing than you. Um, you do have to, it does have to be a net new opportunity to Jabra. So nobody else can be working on it. Again, that's how we kind of you know, lock you in as a reseller of choice. And again, the 10,000 MSRP. Very simple to use, very simple to do. If you guys have questions on it, I've worked with uh, the reps at 888 VoIP quite a bit on helping register the deal. So just let me know or let them know and, and we can work on that with you. We also have a public sector discount, which is really big right now. Um, they have to use these budgets. So they are buying like crazy right now. Um, it's a 10% preloaded at distribution. So uh, when you guys have these opportunities, let your rep at 888 know and they can automatically apply these, this 10% discount. Um, just let them know that it's public sector. And then if you have a deal reg on top of that, we'll give you another 5%. So that'll be another 15% off um, for approved public sector deal registrations. So um, our public sector, we're a little bit, um, I like it because we're a little bit more lenient on what we call public sector. Um, a lot of places don't do healthcare because they're technically a private organization, but we do federal, state, local, education, healthcare, public utilities, and 501c3 companies. Those are non-for-profit organizations. And then we have a resources link. And again, this, um, all this will be available to you. I sent the uh, PowerPoint over to 888. Um, they probably won't send you the whole PowerPoint. It is a very large file, but um, if you want any of these links, I do have it. In order to sell the Panacast, 
and this is a, a big point I want to bring up here. Um, you do have to be a job or authorized partner, which is how you click on that in the middle link, um, which takes, it's a five minute process, it's all online and you get instantly approved. Um, that's really just agreeing to our T's and C's. And then there is a separate authorization link for Panacast. That one again, it's free. You fill out this form, you submit it. That one does take about 24 to 48 hours uh, to get approved. And you know, sometimes it's it being uh, the holidays right now, it, it could take maybe 72 hours, but still pretty quick. Um, if you do have any opportunities or think you have opportunities that might come up, I would recommend um, submitting your authorization uh, request now just so there's no holdups. The worst thing is you guys, you know, try to sell this camera to somebody and then you, you can't get it for a while because we have to get, get you authorized first. So if you have any uh, questions or opportunities that come up, please let me know. And here's my pretty mug. Um, all my contact info is there. Phone number, email, I'm around all the time. Um, you know, I might not be the easiest to get a hold of on the phone. Shoot me an email, always respond pretty quickly. And um, that's all I have. So thanks for spending your time with me today. Um, I know it was a little short, which is surprising because normally I'm pretty verbose. Uh, but today it looks like I was uh, pretty quick on it, but I'll leave it open for about uh, some questions if anybody has any. Probably help if I unmuted people. So I went ahead and unmuted everyone. So if you have any questions, please feel free. Um, let me know. If not, you can uh, type it in the chat box. All right, well, perfect, if there's no questions, I wanna thank everybody for joining today. Um, again, if you guys have any questions or opportunities, um, 888-VOIP 